All right, good evening. Welcome to Triton High School for tonight's matchup between the Triton Vikings and the Pentucket Sachems. I'm Patrick Heffernan. Henrik Ernst. And we're looking at a 10 and six Triton team going up against a 10 and eight Pentucket team. Uh, both teams are in the playoffs. Henrik, what, what has Triton been talking about in the locker room now that they've made the playoffs going looking forward? Uh, pretty much the main thing is to uh, keep putting in 100% effort along with 100% willpower. Um, they can't, just because they're in the tournament doesn't mean they can just ease up on the gas. Right. Go down. They still don't know where they're seated in the tournament, right? Exactly. So if they, the more games they win, the more of a chance they'll play at home here. So right. if they can keep winning, that's what they're shooting for. Well, we, we both want to see that. We don't. One thing we'll talk about during this game, Triton is 6-0 and when they're away, and they're only 4-2 and when they're here at home. So I'm not so sure I want to see too many... Uh, too many more home games only yeah. uh, because it could it could hurt their chances. But we'll get to that during the game. Uh, so uh, come back and we'll see how Triton does. All right, here we go. Ready for the tip off and back to having Jack McCarthy do the tip tonight. It was Liam Splain all season, but Jack's been doing it the last couple of games. Um, they look good. They uh, Triton beat Pentucket by three the last time they played. That game was away uh, at Pentucket. So hopefully tonight will be well. Do we want a blowout or do we want it close? I don't know. Ah, uh, well, it's more entertaining if it's a blowout. That's true. That's true. Actually, more close. entertaining if it's close. So there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. Pentucket with the ball, swings it around to Johansson. I think that's Johansson. Nope, that's Pacey. Pacey. Pacey out to Miguel. Miguel inside. Miguel again drives, gets the first bucket of the game. Pentucket up by two. Quickly out to Liam. Liam looking down to Colin Brennan. Colin Brennan driving the baseline, kicks it out, and there's Trotter with a three. It's deep, it doesn't go. Splain almost got it. Should be Triton ball now. Yep, stays Triton ball. Inbound back to Trotter again. That was Trotter's spot on the court. He hit a couple threes from there the last game they played. Certainly that game winner against Amesbury. Yes. Too. <laughs> beautiful move, beautiful move by, uh, by Will Parsons. Drives the lane, puts it up nice. He is a lefty, so he's going to take that shot every time. Gale up top with it, looking around. Good defense by Spillane. Kicks it around to number 11. 11 up to Pacey. They haven't gone to their score, 20. Jimmy Cleary is his name. He was out the last time they played oh. with an ankle injury. Oh, first foul of the game. It's going to be on number 24, Miguel on Pentucket. Chris Trotter always seems to be closing down his man real well. Yeah. Always containing him. No, they got – so that's – Triton's got that defense. It's uh, – Yeah, certainly. You know, they, they, it's why they're a team you don't ever want to play. So they can yeah. outplay you on defense every Coach time. Coach plays Spillane. philosophy and defense first. Colin Brennan, deep corner three, hits it. So his father said before the game, he usually makes his first three out of his four three throws – or three, three pointers. And then uh, cools down after that, so that's okay. There's one. There's one for three. Clear with the ball up top. Spillane tries to reach for it. Nope. Going to go underneath inside. Doesn't go. Rebound to Brennan. Brennan getting pushed a little bit. Gets it back to Will. Will looking down inside. Kicks it back out to Liam. They got to run an offense now. Settling it down, 20 seconds on the shot clock, plenty of time. Looking inside to Willie, had him for a second. Spillane over to Trotter, Trotter up high again. Looking down low, there's McCarthy. McCarthy was a monster the other night. Ooh. It's a great move inside. Great move. That's what, you can always rely on McCarthy to do yeah. that for you. He'll wedge himself right between the defenders, get himself in a good position to score. Yeah, he's, he's a tremendous shooter. Tremendous score. You score, know what, that's yeah. not, that wasn't even really a shot. That was box so much scoring. Box that's, yep, exactly, box to box. There we go. Cleary getting nothing. A couple of looks, but can't seem to do much with the ball. A bump on Trotta. Nope. They're calling, they're calling that a uh, offensive. What? I don't know how that was offensive, but that's all right. Number 11's getting charged with that. And that's the second foul on Pentucket. So Triton off to a good start. 7-2. to two. Defense is locked down. They had a good, a good three-pointer from uh, Colin Brennan. They had two buckets inside. They keep going into the paint and they get away with it. It's going to be a good night. Yeah. Trotta swings at Liam, looking inside again to Jack. It's not there. He's going to take it himself. Oh. Good, strong drive, and that's the third bucket in the paint. Wow. What agility right there, Liam. Ooh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be a block. Not sure it's who it's going to be on. 
So Liam Splain picks up his first. But he looked good inside. He looked good on that drive. Yeah. Again, they keep going yeah. to the paint like that. If they can score in the paint, then it's going to make it an easier game. They get Will and they get Colin fired Yeah, they up don't want to rely on the shooters in the closing moments of the game. Right. So he makes the first one. This is uh, Miguel at the line. He was the one that got in foul trouble last time they played. He's been a little bit quiet Miguel. tonight, although he sinks both of those. Nine to four now with five minutes left in the first quarter. Swings it out to Will. Will to Colin. Colin looking up high. Colin's going to drive. Nope. He's going to kick it oh, underneath to Will. Good pass. Will was making that, making that run underneath. So they're putting a little bit of pressure on Trotta, picking up 11 up the other end of the court. It's not a full court press, really. They're back in their normal man to man defense. There's Cleary with the ball. Takes a look but doesn't go. Will on him. Clear on the side again. He's definitely their shooter and they're teed up on him. He had that pass to 31 and just didn't make it. There we go. Jack with the ball. Driving fast. Is he going to kick it out? Nope. Taking it to the lane and oh. doesn't get the roll. Nice move. Going straight to the paint again. I like it. So that's, uh, that should be their third foul by now. I only see two on the board, but I know they had one down here and then they had an offensive one too. Um, or maybe the guy stepped out of bounds. You know when he might have stepped out of bounds instead of being a yeah, foul out yeah. there. So it turned it over. So only two fouls so far in Pentucket. Oof. Could hear the back of that rim all the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> Jack at the line. He's been pretty consistent. He was great in the, uh, oh, he misses Knock them both. He was great in that Newburyport game. Huge board by Spillane. That's a fantastic offensive rebound. Ball in the corner with a little bit short. Liam with another rebound. That's two rebounds on this possession alone. Two offensive rebounds. They're not going to be able to stop him. He's going to play like a football player. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he got that. It's like he was tucking it. He was tucking that ball away and going to go right. He hit the line hard. <laughs> it doesn't quite work all the time. That's all right. So again, that kind of high pressure. They're in a zone now. Look, they're trying to trap. Ooh, almost got it there. 14 in the corner for the three. three and, he hits it. and he hits it. And all of a sudden, a 9-2 to two game goes to a 9-7 to seven game just like that. Triton hasn't scored since uh, since Jack went down in the lane and, and hit a. There's Jack and again. There he is again. And oh, he misses this one. Not going to make it. It's three shots that have rolled in and out for them. Good defense. There's Cleary. He's shooting the three. Not on. He's going to stay for the ball. Yep. So we're going to get Colin and we're going to get Gabe in the game. Makes sense. Trot is better on defense. Gabe's better on offense. Let's see what Colin they can do together. Collins, Collins, you got to get rebounds. Yeah. They've had a lot in this game already, but he's your guy for rebounds. He will give you rebounds and layups. They kick it out. They can look up high. Number 14 with the long range three, oh. and he hits that one. Triton have really got to get back uh, going offensively again. They can't be split around. Yeah, they lost the lead already. Ten to nine. Three and a half minutes left. Swings it out to Jack. Jack up high, looks for Gabe. It's not there. Swings it over to Colin. Colin with nothing, looks to Jack again. Jack driving the lane. He's got to kick it out. He's got to find somebody, find Spillane. They only got nine seconds left on the shot clock. Jack's got to do something here. Big, strong drive to the oh, basket. Wow. He gets out on the ball. They used the entire shot clock for that, but they got away with one. I like the inside moves, but you're not going to get all those shots to fall. And those nope. are oh, got to play good defense move. there. Trent's got to close him out from getting into the hoop. Boom by Flaherty. He was one of their high scorers the last time they played, so you expect him to have the ball in his hand a lot. Spillane loses the ball in the lane for the second time. And there's Flaherty again. Back-to-back -back buckets for that kid. It's time for a timeout. Good timeout by Coach Clay. You're going to... You gotta settle that yeah. down. Suddenly you went from nine to two to eleven to fourteen. You yeah. lost the lead just like that. Mm. That's exactly how the downfall <laughs> will start. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't let them go on a little run like that. I mean, that's a twelve point run that they just went on. Mm -hmm. You know, they gave up gave up two a twelve two run for uh, Pentucket. And that's gonna hurt. But they look good. So the last time they played it was fifty three fifty, and um, it was at Pentucket. They were supposed to play. Uh, I don't remember, it was a Tuesday night or something, and um, the power went out, 
right as the teams were warming up before the game. So they had to reschedule for the next night. And, uh, yeah, and coincidentally, yeah. Uh, their best player was injured as well. You said that I didn't. So, uh, yeah, but now they got their best player out there. I don't think he's scored yet. Um, I don't think he's taken more than one shot. Um, so Cleary, and he's actually not on the court now. So um, I don't know, maybe something happened with him. Maybe yeah. he's still not 100%. But even without him 100%, they just won our 12-2 run, then uh, they have a three-point lead now. So here we go with Trotter bringing the ball back up. Brennan's taking a seat now. We got, uh, we got Dylan in. And a rebound there to Pentucket again. Dylan uh, in number 14 getting a little tangle back there. Yeah, Dylan's a, that kind of scrappy player. You want that, yeah, actually. Yeah, you do. This is sort of the small, scrappy lineup they have on the court right now. Gabe, Dylan. Tenacious lineup. Oh, yeah, it game. is tenacious. You got Trotta out there. He's going to go right to the bucket. Nope, he's going to dish it off. Kick it out, kick it out. There he goes, out to Dylan. Dylan kicks it out to Jack. Jack's going to drive. Looked like nothing there, but oh. he made something out of it and gets the board and gets blocked again. That was a pretty sweet block by Pentucky. Yeah. Another drive. Oh. And the ball is not going in. It's just not falling in on that end of the court. They're getting they're getting good inside shots in the paint, and the ball's just rolling in and out. Good pick, swings it out to Pacey. Pacey around to 23. 23 looking inside, complete mess. Diving on the ball. Will comes up with it out to Jack. Jack slows it down. Minute and 18 left. Gabe up top. Swings it to Will. Will's going to drive again. Will's working and hard. Working no. hard. Just not going. Not Almost got that board. That's got to be their fifth or sixth shot in there that just hasn't gone. Pacing on the outside. Looks to Flaherty. Flaherty drives. Shoots. Won't fall. Jack with a big board. Gabe's got to push that. Come on, Gabe. Yeah, he could get that fast break right yeah, there. He's, he's got the motor. I'm not sure why yeah. he didn't why he slowed that down. Especially with the little time left remaining on the clock. Yeah, you want a two for one there. You want to get down the court score and get that, that oh. chance in another one. That is not a foul. Good hesitation move by Will right there. No, it's not a foul on that end either, so that's good. They're letting him play. 30 seconds left. Still the same score, 11 to 14. Nobody wants to score a bucket here in the last two minutes of this uh, of this quarter. Dylan looks to Gabe. Oh no, sorry, that's uh, Jack with the ball. Out to Will. Will's got to shoot. Got to get himself warmed up from the three. He's trotting. Oh, that's a tough call. It's a tough call. Two two Pentucket with the foul. Only their third foul of this uh, this half. Actually, I shouldn't even say that because Trenton only has one. So referees are letting them do anything. We've got shooters back in. Well, we've got one shooter back in in Colin. I shouldn't say it. Try to hit that three to win in Amesbury. So yeah. he's definitely <laughs> a shooter in his own right. Ten seconds left. There's Liam with the ball. Jack's got the ball now. He's got a driver do something with it. Dishes it out. Oh, Colin, long three, and he hits it. Go. There we go. That That'll tie us up. That should tie us up to end the floor. Oh. So the quarter ends, 14-14, uh, and a one. Good way for trying to bounce back right there in the end. I mean, certainly we don't want that to happen in the, in the last part of the game. Yeah. Uh, down to the wire. Uh, we shouldn't, we should, I mean, so they started off 9-2. to two. You can't expect they're going to they're gonna play that way through the whole game. So, I mean, it's not surprising yeah, that Pentucket yeah. ma managed to come back. It's too bad they came back as, as strong as they did uh, and even took the lead. But we'll see, uh, we'll see how they come out in the second quarter. Uh, you know, Coach Clay's already put in a few a few guys off the bench. Colin, uh, Colin Ganza Miller, Dylan Shute has come off the bench. Um, who else? And who else has come off of the bench? Gabe really? Butts. Oh, and Gabe Butts, yeah. right? So I mean, that's good. He start, he's rotating him in. I think you know that's one thing that we've seen from this team is they are able to kind of outrun a lot of their yeah uh, definitely their opponents. They're, they're a fast good. They're a fast team. Uh, definitely got a uh, an offensive edge when it comes to speed. Yeah. And so they got to use that tonight. I mean, they got to keep running and running if they're going to uh, if they're going to extend the lead here, well, or or, or keep this game going. Yes, so. exactly. So Pentucket brings back uh, a different five to start the second quarter. We got Cleary in there again. Still, we got Pacey. Probably have Flaherty on the court. I don't see him right now. We got Gabe. We got Liam. We got Trotta with the ball now. Colin Brennan, he's kicking it out to, and shoot is still on the court. Nice drive by Colin oh. Brennan. 
Couldn't quite get the uh, the little runner to drop down. They're gonna be happy when they switch ends and start shooting on this other basket. Oh yeah. Flaherty, no, oh. that's not Flaherty. He's a number 11 with a big drive. Hmm. He's a foul on. That's good. Better to have the foul on Gabe than the foul on yeah. Liam. <laughs> Liam's already got one, yeah. so uh, it's good for Liam for making himself small. Certainly no yeah. stranger to uh, high foul numbers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, like I said, the last time these two teams played, I don't think anyone from Triton fouled out, but they, um, on Pawtucket, Pacey and McGill, so 31 and 24, Ooh. both got in foul trouble uh, late. So you know, you want to you want to keep going at those guys. Um, if that's the way they play. Now, yeah, their, their yeah. best uh, three-point shooter, Johansson, 15 <laughs> on the court right now. Sort of playing. Uh, they're back into a man-to-man, -man, so he's playing up against Trotta. We'll see how that goes. And there's Liam oh. down the lane, and again, it won't go. Great board by Gabe. Great shot by oh. Colin. Doesn't go. That's two rebounds for Gabe. And oh. then he passes it off. Right. That's all right. They're going to get it back. Beautiful boards by Gabe. Just twice he went in there. Oh, yeah. Just Goes in there, puts his whole body in there. Great player. Great, great spark off the bench, as they say. To Colin up top, to, to Liam. Liam pretending he's going to shoot. Dylan shoot. Colin in a spot in the corner, he's going to drive. Oh, he's going to get blocked. He's going right to get there. blocked. <laughs> Number 11, who's been big for them tonight. Don't know his name, but he's having a good game, and now he's out with a. Maybe an ankle injury. Maybe a cramp or something. Yeah. He hustled off pretty quick. He did. <laughs> yeah. Right. Good point. For an ankle injury, that was a pretty quick hustle he had there. Yeah. So I was trying to keep track of threes. Uh, I know Colin made one, but I, was, I think he's missed two or three now. So he's got to get him on track, and they got to get Will on track. You don't. <laughs> they have the made two. Ha has he? Yeah, he might have made two. You're right. I think he made the second one to make it 14. So still 14, no, 16-14 now. Pentucket with a uh, two-point lead. Trotta looking for Gabe from really deep, and he hits it. Wow. He's having a game. He's having a game. Two big offensive He's rebounds. definitely having a positive impact in this game. Yep. Uh, two big offensive rebounds, a nice outside uh, three, but he just got called for a second foul, um, and that was on the shot, so that's going to hurt. He's got to come out now, I think. Yep. No, he's, stay he's staying on. Gabe is going to stay on. Shoot and uh, Trotter are going to come off. So I like this lineup. I like this lineup because you got you got Liam and you got Will, who are both big inside. Yeah, they've and you got McCarthy that can drive. They all have good chemistry together. That's yeah. three. Gabe bringing it down, looking for Liam. Liam back out. Will over in the on the side, looking forward, gets a nice little, nice little pick and roll. Oh, wow, beautiful play! It's a good Simple. play. Liam, Liam set that up. I mean, yeah. he, uh, and good for Will for, for following through on that. Good little pick and roll. Simple, concise, does the job. Effective. I believe they call that fundamentals, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> good little pass. Another little pass. He should just go straight up. He does. Oh, he's gonna call that a jump ball. Very unhappy fans over there. Actually, a very quiet student section. Yeah, um, definitely. Not, uh, not what we saw. At, you know, at the at Newburyport, to Triton's credit, there were a lot of new. There were a lot of Triton kids there. Good loud, that, loud fans. That's always going to be a big game, yeah. though. Yeah, that's true. Mean. Oh, good block. Good block. Tries to go back inside. And there's Pacey with the shot. Now they're coming up short. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, Pacey with the foul coming in for the offensive rebound. Cam He's Willie. He's Cam Willie Cam in the game. This game. Excellent. Gabe having a seat. Played really well, but now he has two fouls, so he's got to be careful. So here comes Cam. Cam to Colin, to Liam, to Will right there. Almost looked inside. There's Cam back up top. Cam back to Will. We're going to see that a lot next year, too. Both of those guys are juniors. They'll be yep. playing next year. Liam with a long three. Doesn't go. Good good hassle by Colin, but now he's got to get back on Cleary. They're, they're playing up pretty tight, but he just hasn't done anything in this game yet. Close to a walk by 23. Finds Cleary in the corner. Cleary makes a move. Goes to Will. Will stops him. 
Another strong drive, looking out to Pacey up on top, to Cleary again. Cleary with a long three, and oh, it goes. Oh, wow. He's going to make All it. All right. That's why they got to, that's, that's their shooter. They got to keep a guy on yeah. him all the time. Triton got to get a man on those three-point shooters. That had to be a block. Yeah. <laughs> if the running back starts to go down the lane and gets knocked over, it's probably a block. It's probably not just incident, <laughs> not incidental contact. No. All right, fifth, fifth foul on Pentucky. We like that. Shot in for Brennan. Cam Willie to inbound the ball. Looking out for Will. Will's got it in the corner. He's got to find some help. And it goes off a of Trotter's foot. Yep. Unfortunate. That's tough. All right, let's see what kind of defense they're running here now. Sticking in the man-to-man. -man. Who's on Cleary? Looks like Liam's got the job of covering Cleary, who just missed, missed a three, but he's not going to miss that too many times, I don't think. Long, long shot by Flaherty. Flaherty knocked that down. Suddenly it's a six-point game. That's it. That's it. <laughs> How does that sneak up on you? I don't I know, feel like honestly. I don't feel like Triton's been playing that bad, and all of a sudden they're down six. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of dumb turnovers. Yeah, that's all right. Keeping the ball though. Just those little things that are gonna they're gonna make the game yeah. like that. I mean, that's yeah. why you gotta be as perfect as you can. Well, like you said before the game, you know they gotta play the whole game. They gotta keep yep. playing like they like they haven't made the tournament yet. Not they too much will. room they for error. Driving in will nice. And oh, he's waving it off on the floor. Yeah, so in high school you don't get continuation. In the NBA, that's continuation, but they don't call that here. All right, student section starting to get a little bit louder, a little bit bigger. They're still sitting down, though. Got to see them up on the... Oh, that should have been a better pass, Cam Willie. Back on D. Pacey out to 23. 23 is going to drive, lose the ball. Pacey has it up top. He's got 23 underneath. Too easy. Oh, way, way too easy. Too easy. Now it's an eight-point game. Coach Clay's got to call timeout again. Mm. So looking around the league, the uh, Newberry Ports at Masco tonight. Oh Newberry, wow, that's yeah. a big game right now. Not so much. Masco's five and eleven, so oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't what, see uh, what's the Newberry Port. Newberry player? Port is thirteen and two. Oh so wow, I don't they're, see, having a, uh, they're having a really they're having a huge season. Yeah. They're the second or third ranked team. Uh, North Reading is at Linfield, so that's a ten and five team against a thirteen and two team. So that is probably going to decide who's first and second um, in the division, actually. And then the thing is that Triton plays both of those teams next week. They play, um, they play Linfield, I think, first. I want to say on Wednesday, and then they play, um, then they play North Reading a Saturday game. Uh, to, and then I'm pretty sure that ends out the season for them. So, like I was saying before the game started, Triton's actually much better on the road. They're six and zero on the road, and they're only four and six at home. So. Oh, well, um, yeah. Which is kind of yeah, I mean, rough. Weird to think that they have more losses at the home than uh, away. Wow. Yeah, and then the perfect on the road. So, you know, are they going to go perfect against uh, North Reading and Linfield, the two best teams uh, in the in the Cal? I, you know, who knows? It'd yeah. be fantastic. Both those teams are in the tournament, so they're only playing for seeding as well. But um, they may, by the time they get to North Reading, that game may not determine who goes anywhere in the seeding. So we'll yeah. see what happens. Mm -hmm. Up top to a oh, nice pass inside to Will. And that ball just will not fall on that rim. He's killing him. A lot of great inside looks and just balls oh, just yeah. not going. Oh, on the other God. end, wow. on the other end, it's just flowing in. Crazy. So. Ten point game. Just like that. Tied it. Oh, yeah, just like that. Oh. And just like that. Now it's three on one right there. Wow. I have no idea how Pentuck could turn that ball over. They had a three on one. I know. <laughs> a three on one. Good and I defending. don't know if it was one bad pass or something, but yeah, great defending, I guess, came down to. So Pacey up top of the ball, looking around, finds Cleary. Cleary in the eighth, 21. Cleary again looks inside for 23, but doesn't go to it. Flaherty out on the wing. Cleary again with another deep three. That one's going to oh. miss. They need that rebound, though, and they don't get it. Instead, it's another shot from Flaherty. It's a second. It's a miss on him. Good box out by Colin Brennan. Held that kid's arm and didn't let him get around him. Good transition pass as well. <coughs> now they're up top. Trotter just go to the lane. Trotter's going to go. Kick it out to Will. Yeah. Will First hits it. There we go. There we go. This lead is going to shrink now. Down to five just like that. 
There's a timeout. So Pentucket's got to call it. That 10 point lead dropped to five very quickly, and they really blew that three on one. Yeah. No. So I was talking about what Triton's up to after this. They got North Reading and Linfield. Um, Pentucket has Newburyport, um, and then they have Masco. And the last two times they played them, they lost big time to Newburyport. Oh. And then they um, and then they won very close against Masco. Now I know Triton blew out Masco, so you just throw it all up in the air. You never know who's going to have a good you, night. You never know, you day. know, um, especially in this league, every, you can, any team can win any game. So that's why you always got to play out to the last second. You know, could go either way. It could, and this you know this is a this this team. It was saying in the paper that um, this Triton team is a team you don't want to face in the playoffs, and it's for that exactly that reason. I mean, they don't have. They don't have a giant inside presence. They don't have a, you know, they have Colin and Brennan and, and Will who can shoot the threes, but they don't have like some incredible, insane yeah. superstar talent. And yet, you know, they're they're ten and six. They're they're playing good, and obviously on the road they play phenomenal. So, not the team you want to see. Not the team in the playoffs. So here we go. Colin Brennan on the court with Will, with Liam, with Jack, and Gabe back out there. Two minutes and 15 left in the quarter, left in the half. Pentucket swinging the ball around, trying to get it inside. They Ooh. got 22, who's a big man, but they haven't really Gabe, gone to him too much. Gabe almost intercepting that pass right there. Ooh. Liam, Liam and Gabe both double team in 14. Uh, long three, bounces off. Gabe with the rebound. That's his third rebound of the night. Two on the offensive end, one on defensive. Gets it up to Liam. Liam gets all alone, goes in the lane, gets fouled. Oh. And of course it won't drop. <laughs> oh, my God. So close. Uh, that's insane. It's like there's a magnet pushing the ball <laughs> off when it lands anywhere near that rim. I know. It's insane. If you don't swish it, if it touches the rim, it's going out. Somebody tighten the rim too much. The janitor. we got to call him up here and explain that. So, all right, Liam at the line to shoot two, I hope. And the first one doesn't go because he hit the rim. No. All right, 40 is a new player in for uh, Pentucket. We don't have the rosters tonight, unfortunately, so um, we're just going to have to call them by their number. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, Liam hits the second. So with a minute and 45 left, it's going to be a one-possession game. Pentucket bringing the ball up. Swings it up to Pacey. Pacey to Miguel. Miguel back to Pacey, Pacey inside to 22. Finally, he gets a touch on the ball, but doesn't do anything with it. Swings it out to Flaherty, Flaherty to 40. Oh, who air balls his first shot. Maybe that's why he hasn't come in the game before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a rough pass to Gabe, but he collects it. Looks inside to Colin Brennan, right up top. Oh, and we get we the go. roll, and we get the roll, beautiful. Gabe with a little uh, somersault move there. So I think Colin has three threes at this point. I have it down right. That's pretty good. That's he's probably, shoot, he's right. probably shooting about 50%. Yeah. Which, again, is exactly oh. what his father said before the game. All right, so they answer with a three on that end. Gabe brings it up. Swings it to Jack. Jack looks to drive. Knows better now after the way that rim's treated him. Spillane up top to Jack again. Jack's got to find Will. Will's going to back his guy down. And Will's going to get fouled, but he gets... And Liam will finish. Oh, Liam gets Spillane taken out by the ref. Liam Spillane with an excellent offensive rebound and a putback. And it stays a one-possession game. Oh, my God. On the other end, though, they're just not playing defense. Not playing their kind of defense tonight. They should be shutting this down a lot better than that. So here it is, last possession, 34-30. Jack dribbles around up top, 20 seconds to go. They're not going to have the lead at the half unless they get some miracle three that they get fouled on. So they're going to have to go into halftime down. It's a question of down four, down two, or down one. Jack's going to drive, look to Liam. Liam. Liam to take the three and off the backboard, and there's actually time for it to be even worse. He's going to chuck one up, and, and the cheerleader catches it and gives it a little kick. Right. Oof. 30 to 34 at a half. Um, huh. Not uh, not what I was expecting. Um, yeah, wow, certainly a uh, resilient Pentucket team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they um, no, they play well. I think, you know, Triton is going to be, again, happy to be on the other end of the court because it feels like that rim is just abusing them this yeah. time. And you know what? If you get that many looks in the paint, 
the ball's gonna go in. Oh you know, yeah, it, it is. You just gotta persist it will. with it. it. Yep, exactly. You gotta persist with it. So, but I mean, they also have to play some defense on the other part if they want to win this game. Yeah, yeah. Defense wins championships, mm -hmm. and it, it might also win tonight. So we'll see what happens. All right, we'll be back with a halftime uh, commentary, and then we'll be back for the second half after this. All right. All right. So here we go. Second half, thirty-four thirty. Instead of a uh, instead of a halftime commentary, we're going to give you a uh, an interview with the head coach after the game. Yep. So that'll be uh, better than us just talking. So Trotta with the drive early kicks it out to Liam. Liam to Colin. Colin to hit a three and oh, it doesn't quite fall. It. Great rebound by Jack McCarthy. Oh. Fouled going up. You got to like that. 20, 22 seconds into the uh, second half and Pentucket's already got a foul. So just to run down some quick numbers here. Uh, Pentucket's big time scorer, number 20, Cleary, only had three points in the first half on one on one three pointer. But uh, number 14, Flaherty, uh, standing up there, standing next to uh, Colin Brennan, he had 13 points in that first half. Um, so he was oh wow, he was a monster. Everybody else on the team had one or two baskets at the most. Um, in terms of foul trouble, number 24, which is Miguel, and number 31. Um, 31, Pacey, both had three fouls, so they're both in trouble. Chris um, Trotta driving there. Oh, not gonna kick it out, Trotta again to look. Um, Colin Brennan had nine points for uh, for Triton on three threes. Nice move, Jack. And, uh, That's what he does best right there. That is. Liam Splane had seven points in the first half. Um, uh, certainly all of them in the paint. <laughs> Although he did take one three, I think he missed. Clear with the ball, he's gonna give it up. Pacey in the corner, dribbles it back out. So what are you going to look for this half, Henrik? Um, in, uh, in in terms of what? Pat? Is it going to be offense or defense? Are they going to come back with an offensive push, or are they going to lock well, down? Well, offensively, they got they got to keep up with Pawtucket, and uh, defensively, they got to close them down. That's going to be the key of the, to the winning this game, um, like any other game, you know. I think we'll see. I think we'll see an emphasis on defense here. You know, I think um, that's what Triton does best. I think that's the kind of thing. You know, Coach Clay, I'm sure talked at halftime. It's a defense that you can carry over yeah. into the next game and the next game and the next game. You know, that defense. Yeah, mentality. you can't get through any game without gritting it out in the fourth quarter, playing that. Not even the fourth quarter, second half of the game, playing that defense, locking them down. Right now, it's Kentucky that's playing the high power defense. Triton keeps hold of the ball. Jack again drives. Oh, oh Will oh. looked like he was confused by that pass. Oh, that gets uh -oh. hurt. 22 is down, and that's that doesn't look good. Serious pain right there. Yeah. There was a lot of a lot of bang and a lot of confusion under the basket. Yeah. Will got that ball where I don't think he was ready for it. Went right up into the rim. Yeah. In the JV game, the exact same thing happened to Owen Heffernan. Uh, he also took a shot from right under the basket and uh, didn't look so good. All right. They're you know, humans. They make mistakes. Yep. You know what I saw the other night at the uh, at the Exeter Triton game? So um, it's in the first half, and already Exeter has probably like a 13, 14 point lead. And I don't know if you saw that game, but my God, the Exeter team was huge, just huge. And so it's an, in a, a uh, inbound play on the, or, or it's a um, Exeter had scored. So Triton's trying to inbound the ball, and um, I don't remember who it was. Might have been Colin Brennan trying to inbound it, and this this Exeter kid is you know jumping around, managing just to swat the ball away and block the inbound pass. So it's still going to be Triton ball, but the kid himself gets all animated, like you know acting like yeah. all super excited about it, you know, not but beyond excited, like sort of hey hey I got you. Yeah. And to his credit, because it was a dead ball, the Exeter coach, you know, calls for a sub and, and has and brings the kid off, only for one play, just to sit him down and say, like, come on, kid, you know, yeah, you know, uh -huh. don't be disrespectful, you know, yeah, you, you, know, yeah, yeah. you made a great block, don't, you know, and that was good to see. It was like, all right, that's, you know, yeah, yeah, you gotta like a coach that does definitely, that. Definitely, definitely, yeah, shows a sign of humility. Respect. Well, yeah. respect. Yeah. Respect for the other respect. team. I mean, yeah, they were going to win that game by 40 points. Mm -hmm. They didn't need to, you know, jump around. Oh, Everett. That's yeah, Everett. Word. Everett. Exeter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I say Exeter? Yeah. I meant Everett. There we go. Nice. Nice. Come That's on, Liam. Name. Make that play. Nice layup and put it in. Triton now down by only one. We got this zone, half-court zone press working. Liam with the press oh. right there. Double teaming. And 
Oh, good strong move. And another steal. Gonna settle it down now, settle it down. Liam outside, looked for Will inside. Back to Liam. Liam's gonna drive. He's gonna kick it into Will again. Again, Will a bit confused by the ball. Manages to get it out. He's gotta get it out of the paint. Cover is in trouble. Will is working like a beast inside. I know. There he goes. Oh, come on. He deserved that right there. Oh, almost. Liam tapped it. Couldn't quite get over there for Jack. And this is some high power defense they're putting on now by Triton. Will's got to come out. He just needs a break. Yeah. He's getting beat up inside. So here's his zone trap defense. And they get it across half court. Looking for Cleary. Nope, going to Pacey way over on the corner. Pacey up top to Cleary. Cleary looked like he wanted to take that shot, and he hesitated. Inside pass to Pacey. Pacey gets tied up by Colin Brennan. Colin with a great steal. Gets oh. tied up himself and loses the ball. Pacey steals it back. He's going to drive. That has to be a charge, and it is. Nothing gets Coach Clay more fired up than I know. a charge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's his favorite play in basketball. It's must be as a as a defender too. I mean, oh, it's, it's it's the best. It's a turnover. Yeah. It's it's foul. stop their momentum. Yeah. It's a foul. Literally stopping their momentum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Jack up top looks to Colin. Colin looking around. A little bit of confusion there, but Trotta comes away with the ball. Back to Colin to Gabe. Gabe's know. looking to the corner. There's Liam there. They've only got 10 seconds left on the clock now. Liam tries to drive but loses a handle on it. And then Pentucket loses a handle on it right back. A lot of quick back and forth here. Yeah. A lot of a lot of turnovers. I'm glad I'm not keeping that right down. Yeah. Yep, four and a half minutes left. Pentucket already with two fouls and just the one point lead now. After going into the half with a four-point lead, and there's going to be another turnover. It's going to be backcourt on Triton. So Gabe and Trotter. Trotter up high on the ball. Levin puts it into Cleary. Cleary still doesn't want to shoot. It's good defense by Gabe sticking on him. Their big score of 14 isn't out there right now. So Pentucket trying to get, trying to stay in this game without their best uh, shooter on the moment that out there. That was a desperate shot right there. So do you get credit for a rebound if it's an air ball? That's like well, a I mean, basketball. Someone's gotta grab it. I mean. Yeah, but if it never touched the rim and never touched the backboard, was it really a shot? I mean, maybe he was passing it, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a basketball mystery right there. Inside, beautiful pass. Liam gets hammered, but somehow gets, they get away without a foul on that. I don't know how. 11's going to drive. Nope, he's going to kick it back out. Clear, he's going to shoot with two hands in his face. Liam with the offensive, defensive rebound. Pulls it away, kicks it to uh, Gabe. Will's going to come back in the game. Liam looking around. Liam going to drive. Hop step, nothing, but that's actually a walk. He moved his right foot. Huh? Oh, he must have. Yeah, he landed, and then he moved his right foot a little bit. That'll do it. It's a good try. So calling out Will in. I know I've said this before. Will's defense has gotten so much better than when uh, oh, definitely. when he used to play in eighth grade. I mean, he was a kid even, that... Even two years ago, you could see the, see the big difference. Yeah. I mean, he was one of those kids that definitely played half half the court. Yeah. The offensive half. Um, but he's much better on defense now. Much improved. That is a long thing. three. Yeah. Oh, that's a pain. Oh, no, he doesn't get... See, that rim is going to hurt them the way yeah. it hurts right now. Let's hope. <laughs> out of bounds. Out of bounds on uh, Triton. Liam Spillane needs a break. All right, we've got two sh three shooters in the game now. We've got Gabe and Colin and uh, Colin Brennan and Will. And these kids are all fast. Every one of those kids can get down the court quickly. Oh, so yeah. Let's have a quick up-tempo offense. Let's get some good shots off. Good defense. Cleary going three, four feet behind the line. Misses the three again. Good board good. by Jack. See, now that's a legit rebound. That wasn't yeah, an air ball. Yeah, yeah. Out to Will. Will looks, goes to the corner to Gabe. Gabe up to Jack. Will again. Will's got to drive. Nope, he's going to look for Gabe. Gabe with that shot. That's oh, going to go. Doing well for himself. It's a big time three. That takes the lead now. Trying with the 38-36 oh, wow. lead. 
That'll that'll give Gabe some more confidence. And they look, they swing it to 15, 15 to, there's their high score, and he's gonna miss that one, though. I'm telling you, that the rim, rim doesn't like anybody. So Flaherty misses, I think, his first shot of the second half. Will, 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 Will misses oh. it short. Great board by Jack. It's on the floor, it's number 20 with the foul. Nope, it's number 11. Ah, I was hoping it was number 20. <laughs> Good board, they can keep the ball, keep possession. Williams playing to inbound. Gabe releases, Will going into the corner, not there, but they find Jack, kind of a rough pass. Look at Liam, another rough pass. Guys, settle down, control the ball. You got 24 seconds on that shot clock. Colin swings it, swings it again. Gabe looks again, nice bounce pass to Jack. Jack's got nowhere to go, but Gabe does, and Gabe's gonna drive. Oh. I'm not entirely sure how that wasn't a foul. Oh. And again, that could have been a foul too, so it's all right, it's gonna go the other way. That's that kind of defense that Gabe will give you. He'll yeah. get a right up yeah. in your face kind of defense. Yeah. High stress. Three, three fouls already on uh, on Pentucket. Oh, a nice block. That's not too much though, considering it's almost the end of the third quarter. I mean, not too many. Excuse my English. <laughs> You don't have to speak English here. You have to speak <laughs> basketball. That's the difference. We're not speaking English. Gabe brings it up, looks around, swings it over to Colin. Colin's going to drive. A little teardrop, and it's oh. not going to roll. They bang for the rebound, but can't, can't quite get it. 11 doesn't look down the court, misses the pass to Pacey. Tries to make it down. It's too late. And 11 with the foul. Wrapped him up. You know, i got to tell you, number 11, you grabbed him with both arms and wrapped yeah. him around a bear hug. That's kind of a foul every time. Fourth foul on Pentucket, none on Triton to start off this half. And it's a timeout for Pentucket. The coach quietly talking to the referee to plead his case. And they look good. They look really good so far. I mean, the offense yeah. is not, has not really lit it up, but they do have a two-point lead. Um, they, they look good. By the way, the halftime stats were brought to you by uh, Stephen Bayardi <laughs> down there Steve. keeping score. Such a good kid. He... Uh, he helped me out during the week to get ready for this game. He let me see the book for the uh, the last time they played Pentucket so I could get a sense of who Pentucket scores were and stuff. So, great kid, also a good basketball player in his day. Yeah, yeah, um, great scholar. Great scholar. He could uh, currently graduate if he needed to. Really? Given his current credits. That's pretty crazy. Good kid, He's all, but he's only a junior. Yeah. Yep. All right, good for him. Stellar Steve. All right, so coming out of the timeout, it should be a uh, Triton ball. Let's see what the uh, Coach Clay called up here. I would imagine now Pentucket's got to go to a press. Um, I mean, they got to start getting yeah. aggressive on defense themselves. And they really haven't yet. Coach, their coach is still talking to the ref, still complaining. Doesn't seem to be the yelling kind of coach, but uh, hey, this team's pretty good, so yeah. you can't, can't take that away from them. So they're gonna run Syracuse, whatever that play is, and it kicks out to Gabe, and Gabe's just gonna launch one. Oh, a little bit short, but Will with a huge rebound, kicks it back out to Gabe. Gabe's gonna drive this time, lose the handle, but it's gonna be a foul on Pacey. Wow. That's uh, remarkable. I did 3-1. Did not see that. Pacey's, uh, Pacey's saying, well, who, me? Yeah, you. I don't know how that was a foul <laughs> on him either, but that's all right, we'll take it. Um, and actually, Pacey had two fouls already going into this, so he's got to come out and sit. He's got three fouls on him now. And the Vikings again with a chance to kick it in the corner. No, it's going to go back. Nice long deep pass. Technically, that's over and back. When he well, caught that, his feet were uh, still on the... Um, uh, on an inbound play. On the, on the, the, on the inbound, you can, yeah, on the inbound, you can go back, but you got to be all the way over when you catch it. Yeah. Nice kick out. There's Colin. He's got all day to hit it, and he hits a beautiful shot. Colin Brennan, 12 points That's now. what he'll give you in these late stages of the game. Yep. Kentucky kicks it to the corner. He's going to drive now. Good little hop step, good little move. Gets only their second basket of the game, if I recall right. Yep, they had 34 at the half. Sorry, not second basket of the game. Second basket of the half. Will with a big drive, oh. monster drive. Oh, Liam, yeah, he oh. right over his back. Sneaky. <laughs> and to throw the ball Almost. on him to finish the ball. Almost. That's got to be uh, probably Liam Sirfell. He's got to come out. No, Will's coming out. 
All right. That was a good drive there by Will. I yeah. mean, he laid that up there. Yeah. Again, just didn't go in. Here's the pressure by Triton. There's the trap right there. Good job by Liam. There's the trap. How how in the world is that right. NFL? <laughs> At 1.11, just push Bruce's yeah. arm out and put it right into Liam's chest. I'm not sure how that's not a foul. They're all yelling at each other saying, settle down, settle down. What's the call, though? No call. All right. I suppose that's a good no call. I mean, you know, both players are uh, jawing at each other. And, 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 yeah. Well, both players are jawing at each other, and both players are getting rough. And just don't call the foul. Just you know, dead ball, and let's, let's reset and play basketball. Yeah, exactly. 24 with a good drive. Kicks it out to 23. 23 all the way around to 15. 15 to 23 up the top. He's going to look for their big score. Flaherty with the ball, hands it off. Still swinging it around. They only got two seconds to shoot. I don't know if he's going to get that off. He did, oh. but he missed it. And then everybody stood around and watched to see what would happen rather than get a rebound. And that's the end of the quarter. So Triton's defense comes up huge. They give up four points in eight minutes. You see, that's what that's what uh, that's what's going to happen. You know, that's what you'll see with this Triton team as of right now. That is lockdown defense. That's insane. Yeah. Two baskets in an entire quarter of high school basketball. Pretty is nuts. Impressive. Now on the other side, Triton only got seven points themselves. Yeah. So it's not like they lit it up. Yeah. Um, at least one of those was a was a three by Colin. Actually, they had Gabe. two threes. They had Gabe had a three, and Colin had a three. So they only had. Um, really two and a half baskets on their own. Yeah, but regardless, they locked up on defense. They locked up on defense, they got the lead. So now we got a fourth quarter, eight minutes left. Eight minutes left of home game, home basketball here at Triton, unless they do well enough against North Reading and yep. Linfield to get a high enough seed and come back here and play another game. Although like we talked about, they're, they're a better team on the road. I'd like to see them win tonight, but it, it's not such a bad thing if they end up on the road for, uh, for, the, for the tournament, for the state tournament. So the other thing, talking to Sean McGinnis before the game tonight, the athletic director. Triton sports, every single winter sport is in the playoffs. That's pretty impressive. Never <laughs> happened before. It's crazy. Wow. So uh, I know I'm not going to be able to name all the sports, but you know, hockey and tr uh, indoor track and um, basketball. basketball, both boys and girls. Uh, all in the playoffs, which is fantastic. Swimming, swimming. Swimming too, yeah. Oh, nice backdoor cut, and then he loses the handle. That's their star, and he's not having a star night. Not at all. My worry is that he's going to wake up, and there's you know, still eight minutes of basketball left. There's Liam. Liam can't, nope, oh, Liam's going to work it on 15. Nice little push off, but they're going to call the charge. Yeah, you know, that's a legit call. He did. Yeah. He did. I don't think he gave him as quite as an aggressive an elbow as the referee just uh, indicated, but it was still an elbow. So now Pentucket under pressure. Having a hard time getting it across. They only got about four more seconds here. Are they going to get it across? They're going to could have hit the 23 flash in the lane, but he didn't go all the way. Strong move, got fouled. It's going to be on uh, Trotter. It's probably only his first. Yeah, it might be his second. Only the second Triton foul of the, uh, nope, nope, third foul of the half. And he's going to the line. Cut this down to a one point game if he makes them both. It's the first, who is this, 24. This is Miguel. This is another kid that was one of their high scorers the last time they played, these two teams played. Gabe in now for Trotta. How they look? They look tired to you right now? Or they look all right, Trent. Um, it's tough to judge them at the current moment. <laughs> but um, I don't know. They got a quick yeah. They got a quick lineup, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, do si do action by uh, Gabe. Gabe's gonna do one of those little ball fakes, and the yeah. kid's head is gonna literally come off. What a move oh, by wow. Liam Spillane. Liam Spillane, that was huge. Wow. So no, in the first half, that exact same move and that exact same shot, and the ball would roll around and yeah. roll out. Uh -huh. So they keep going to the paint. Oh, that's got to be a foul. No, 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 it was before the shot. Before the shot, right? Yeah. Yeah, that must have been. That's his third or fourth, though. That's the problem for Liam. And Liam's got to come out, I think. Yeah, Liam's got to come out. There's still almost seven minutes left to play. 
I like the referees giving him plenty of time to explain it. That's nice. Yeah. Uh huh. You know. Shows good patience from the yeah. referee. Yeah. Yeah. Which you don't always get. Let's be honest. Yeah. So. <laughs> There's the big toss to 24. The ball, 14. Beautiful strip by Gabe, and then he loses it. Tries to go too quick. Got to have the ball before you move with the ball. Cleary up top. Goes to Flaherty. Flaherty swings it out to 11. 11, who's having a. 11, who's probably happy Liam's not on the floor right yeah. now. <laughs> um, now he's gonna get. He's gonna get a call. I know he stepped on the line. He stepped on the line. I think that was the kid that stepped on the line early on, and we thought it was a charge. He's having a tough game. All right, Trotta, bring the ball up. Triton with a four-point lead. Six and a half minutes left to go in the game. They start to run their offense. Swing it around. Oh. oh, and Colin Brennan just gets stripped badly. Oh, if that kid could dunk, I think he would have dunked yeah. right there. Although I think that's illegal in MIA, but that's all right. Is it illegal to dunk in MIA? I think it might be, yeah. Oh, they're calling the walk. That's tough. So that's a turnover and then a... Uh, a tough call, although I don't know why Jack was going to lane so quick on that. They have plenty of time. Two-point game now at six minutes. It's two bad possessions by Triton. Pentucky with a chance to tie it or take the lead here. Eleven's going to drive on Trotta. He's almost going to lose it to Gabe. There's Miguel driving the lane, kicks it out to 23. 23 won't shoot, goes to the free throw line, but it's to 11 now, and he airballs it. He's going to hear it from the crowd. Uh, Triton fan section having a good time tonight, but they're too small. It yeah. drives me crazy. Yeah. Well, high mean, school basketball, you should have a huge home crowd. I think maybe, that, maybe that's why they struggle at home. Well, you know, you know, I don't know. Maybe they just need to stand up and get more involved in the game. All right, Henrik, they're your friends. you got to talk to them. <laughs> Great. Almost got a rebound there by Will. Bounces around. Gabe putting the pressure on Miguel. Miguel drives the entire length of the court and gets blocked by, by McCarthy. Gabe with some good footwork. Goes to Trotter. Trotter's going to go the other way and lay one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. The defense is, is putting the gas on now and they're trying to force something by Pentucket. Pentucket had it and drove it all the way down. One kid got blocked on the other end. So now this possession, they're swinging the ball around a lot more. Looking for Cleary. That's the kid that could light it up, but he hasn't tonight. There's Flaherty. Flaherty swings it back. 23. No, it's a steal. And here goes Gabe. Just lay it in, Gabe. Just lay it in, Gabe. There you go. Yeah, Timeout, Pentucky. Half expecting him to pull off something classy. <laughs> you know, I think he would have. You know, in eighth grade, seventh grade, that kid is doing exactly that. But here yeah. he just takes the basket yeah. and puts it in. You know, that's good. That's why he's getting a lot of minutes. That's why he's yeah. playing as well as yeah. he's playing. His attitude I mean, definitely honest. improved over the years. Yeah. It's helped. He's doing really well. Very happy with that kid. It's good. So Coach Clay is throwing him in the timeout. My guess is that they got to keep playing defense yeah. like they're playing. I mean, honestly, seven points in the last what is it? Four, Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. They've given up. Now seven that's points. A, that's an impressive feat. Yeah, they're they're, they're shutting down Pentucket. They're doing really well. This is kind of a so the last game was 53-50. So we're probably going to see a higher score than that. But it still feels like a low score. Yeah, game. definitely. So Will Parsons, <coughs> Will Parsons' grandmother has moved over. She normally sits in the center there between the stands. Now she's over in her chair to the left. So when we see her clapping, when we see her yeah. happy, we know it's a good thing. Yeah. So. Will hasn't been out much though, you know, in this yeah. in, in, in this uh, quarter. But Maybe he's out there. Maybe he has a couple now. fouls to his name. Oh yeah, that could be. We need we need a, a stats guy up here with us yeah. next time. <laughs> um, Steve, the stats guy. We had a stats guy last time. We need, we need one next time, too. Gabe getting aggressive. Can't quite get the steal. Flaherty with the ball swings it to 11. 11 is going to take a shot again. Good for him because he had an air ball the last yeah. time. At least he hit the rim this time. Please. Good for him for digging the shot, though, you know? Yeah. He's yeah. clearly one of their shooters. He's got to, you know, shooters got to shoot. They can't get too afraid. Out to Will. Will looks to Trotta. Trotta on Flaherty. Trotta on Flaherty, but he kicks it out to shoot. Swings it to Gabe, Gabe to Will. Will's looking to make that move, it's not there. Jack's gonna drive the lane and take it in. Beautiful, wow. Beautiful. Now trying to pull the head now. Looks like nine, eight points. 
That is good basketball. Yeah. Kicking around like that, and you finally get a nice drive in the lane. It's nice. So 11 up top goes to Flaherty. Flaherty, not much to do with it, to 23. 23 to Pacey, inside to 24, Miguel, and he gets fouled by shoot. That's a tough one. That kid beat him to the spot. Yeah. And, and, she, and Dylan just couldn't get around on him quick enough. Definitely a legit foul. Is he coming out? No, I think he's standing, yep. Liam's gonna come back on. This is the right time to put Liam in, because yeah. I think Liam probably has four to, fouls. Yeah, you know? might, three or four. You got a seven point lead. You know, this is where, if he, if he fouls out, he fouls out, but yeah. at least you got him in there for what are gonna be critical minutes. Well, yeah, know? they this, need this him for it. defense. I mean, they gotta preserve mm -hmm. this, uh, they gotta preserve this lead they have yep. here. You got a seven, maybe six point lead with three and a half minutes left to go. These, this, these next two minutes decide the game right yeah. here. So Miguel at the line, he hit the first one. Again, another one of their high scores from the last game. And he hits the second. And we still haven't seen any pressure from uh, Pentucket in the full court. I don't know what they're waiting for. Down six. Shoot up top, swings it to Gabe. Gabe to Trotta. Shoot, shoot, looks inside, hits Gabe. Gabe with a beautiful cut. Wow, wow, wow. Just simple, a simple, concise pass like that will get you two points. And it will destroy your morale and Dylan oh, wow. shoot. Dylan shoot, that's fantastic. Got to the spot, stood right where he had to be. Yeah, and you know what, that foul was on 14, that foul was on Flaherty, their shooter. Oh wow. So that really takes him out of the yeah. game, you know? <laughs> that's fantastic, good for Dylan. That's not going to boost his morale. Number 20, the shooter. No, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, no reaction from Dylan Shoot's father over on the, uh, in the stands. Just calm as can be. Yep. He's seen, oh, 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 that's not, shouldn't be a turnover. He definitely had his hands on it. And there's a foul, going to be foul on 1-4. Another foul on Flaherty. Six fouls, one away from the bonus for uh, Triton, so with three minutes to go, an eight point lead, it's gonna be another timeout. It's not a TV timeout, Did you see who called it? Oh uh, uh, yeah, Triton I called it, not. Triton called oh. it. It's a timeout white. We don't have TV timeouts, right? <laughs> <laughs> we, need some more, uh, we need some more fans here yeah. before we're gonna do a TV timeout anytime soon. Um, they look good, Trotta looks fired up. They look a little bit gassed, an eight point lead. Looks good. What do you think? So what? So we got three minutes left. What do you think? Are they going to hold on to this lead? Do you think they um, can expand it? I'm I'm personally pretty confident that they can uh, hold on to this lead because I mean they've been in a position like this before and they've they've preserved it. Um, so it once again it's just a matter of how well they can play defense. Um, hopefully they can uh, continue their good form of scoring. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and they, they finally got those um, those buckets in the lane yeah. that they weren't getting in the first half. Um, that's starting to fall. They haven't had that many threes in this half that I can think of. Yeah, Gabe, yeah. Gabe and um, and Colin in the in the third quarter. I don't know. They've hit a three in this entire yeah. fourth quarter. Um, so they haven't done it with the outside shooting. It's been it's been the plays like the one where uh, yeah. where, where Dylan hit uh, Gabe with that that runner down the lane. Beautiful yeah. little layup. All right. So now finally, Pawtucket is pressing. I don't know, maybe Pentucket's saving their energy for the playoffs. They're already in the playoffs as well, so I don't, but I don't know why they weren't pressing a lot earlier in this game. Yeah. But we're going to the one and one the next time uh, Pentucket fouls. Triton's got to use all the clock they can. Yeah, that will. Oh, no, it was the seventh foul, so somebody's got to be shooting. It should be Trotta. Little dilemma here. It should be Trotta, but I'm, I'm not sure. Well, if they can't remember, then they're going to put somebody like Colin Brennan yeah. on the line. Why not, right? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Go, you go back and roll the tape. It was Trotta that had the ball. I'm almost positive when he got fouled, but Trotta's out of the game now. No, no, maybe Pentucket figured it out and said, no, you got to have him. They did. Pentucket coach, Pentucket's coach knows. Ah, he's not getting his way, though. Nope, yep, he is. Trotta's coming in. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, that's probably it's the right thing, you know. Yeah, it's the right, it's the thing. right thing. And Trot, it's not like Trot is a bad free throw shooter, so you know, it is kind of funny though. All right, here we go. So a one and one. 
you make it a 10 point game, he makes them both. And that would be a nice that lead be, with yeah, three minutes left. That would be helpful. He's going to get yep. the first. Isn't going to drop, but it's going to be out of. Ooh, good oh, that's that's a tough. Good, good that's call tough. by the referee, though. Liam just tipped it right there. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Liam. All right, all right. <laughs> you know what? You'd get that call. I'm going to say it again. You would get that call if there's a great big home yeah. crowd yelling uh -huh. and cheering and screaming. Yeah, you know, get that call. All right, there's so a little bit more pressure on you as a ref. Three minutes, eight point game. Eleven steps back. Flaherty with the ball up high. He's gonna look to Cleary. Cleary's gonna have to get open and shoot. That doesn't seem to be their game plan tonight. Hits uh, Flaherty again. Flaherty with the long three, and he's gonna miss it. Liam with an easy rebound. Again, we don't know if that's a rebound or not, but I guess we'll call it a yeah. rebound for now. So Jack's gonna bring it up now. Look, they got a burn clock here. They got a burn clock. Looks like that's what they're doing right now. Column with a carry. Column was looking down the court. Not quite sure what he was doing. You know, this is, a, I'm not telling Coach Clay what to do here, but this is when I would get a kid like, um, you know, get Gabe in the game, get. Uh, Maybe put Gans in there. Get Gans in there, get, uh, get Cam Willie. Yeah. The kids that have just tons of handle yeah. in the game right now, because this is what this game's going to be about. Closing out here. Eight minute, two minute mark. Good drive by Pacey, puts it in. Oh, Will no foul, no he foul did. though. Will just let him in that open lane. I mean, he did, but it was good that he didn't yeah. foul him and stop the clock. So the clock keeps going. Six point game. Colin getting pressured by Pacey. Come on, Liam, Liam with the no look pass. It does not work. Colin with oh. try to get the swipe, it didn't work. Clarity gets the layup and now it's a four point game. They gotta slow down just like that. game. So Colin yeah. with the turnover. Liam with the turnover, and now it's a four-point game with a minute and a half to go. Colin up high. He's going to look. They're all outside. Nobody's in the paint. Not even Will. Not even Colin. Nobody. Looking. There goes Liam. Liam's going to drive. He's got nothing. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. And there's another turnover. That's a strip. That's a good, legit steal by uh, Pacey. Working with Miguel, 24. 11 gets a nice little drive, oh. and he fouled him. That is painful. We're going to see an eight-point lead drop all the way down to one right here. Nope. All the way down to three. My yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> math, is, uh, math is hard, they say. <laughs> so I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like Liam's out. So it's a big, so it's a a big timeout fall now. right there. Timeout now for Triton. Minute and 11 to go. They had an eight-point lead. Cut all the way down to two now. No, I was right. It's cut all the way down yeah. to two. It's 49-51. Yep. So they, they have a chance to make it a one-point game after having an eight-point lead with three minutes to go. They Yeah, yeah, the clock was it. Yeah. yeah. Colin Brennan had the carry. Liam Splane drove and had that pass that sort of went to nowhere in in the paint. Um, what else did they they turned the ball over another time? I don't remember how, but they just Yeah you gotta you gotta handle the ball. Yeah. Uh, handle they the ball. haven't had possession of it. No. Not, not clean, yeah. not a good clean a possession, clean, yeah. no. And they haven't had a good look, so. Credit to Pentucket's defense. They really, uh, they really put the pressure on it at the uh -huh. right moment. And now we're in a, a one point, potentially one point game. Um, kid's shooting one, so it's not like he's got a, a chance of one on one here, but still. He knocks us down a one point game, minute and 11 left. Looks like Coach Clay is putting in Colin Brennan, Trotta, Gabe, Jack, McCarthy, and Will. Yeah, it's a. So that's good. That's a good lineup. Almost the starting lineup. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah. So you got Gabe in there for um, for Liam, who I believe fouled out. Uh, we'll find out after the game. Yeah, the big question now for Coach Clay, provided they win this game, is you know how'd you let an eight-point lead slip yeah. <laughs> like that, and what do you tell your players in the I timeout know. when you've yeah. gone from up eight to up one, or I guess at the moment up two? So here's eleven, a chance at the line. Make for a better game for himself. He's had a tough one tonight. And he Ooh. hits it, and it's a one-point game. One so minute. Gabe's going to bring seven. it up. A minute to play. You really don't want to do two for one here. You just want to go for a good look yeah. no matter what. Uh -huh. And that has been a little bit rough. Oh. Colin tries to swing it out, gets fouled instead. Pacey with another foul. That's uh, the third or fourth time we've seen that kid stand there and yeah. be shocked that uh -huh. it's called on him. But yeah, it's called on you. How many fouls does he have? I don't know. Well, I guess it could have been more than four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
So here we go. So there's the switch. We got Colin Gans Miller in because it's going to be a defensive uh, set after this. Will's out. Colin's also the kid they want in there for rebounds. Yeah. Colin Brennan oh. hits the first. Beautiful. Now that's a, that's a vital free throw, free throw yeah. right there. <laughs> yep, two point game now. He hits this and we at least have a three point game. We're in good shape. And he hits it. So here we go. This was the uh, this was a score the last time they played, 53-50. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see what happens here with a minute left to play. Bring the ball up. So Dylan shoots in for uh, looks like in for Colin Brennan. Kicks it out to McCleary or Cleary on the sideline. There's 11 again. He's going to drive. He's going to kick it out. Should be coming Triton ball. Yep, it's Triton ball. Clarity couldn't get the handle on it. Ball goes out of bounds. Defensive uh, team of Gansmiller and Shoot come off. Offensive look of Brennan and, and uh, Will Parsons are back on. They're going to press now. Gabe's going to take his time bringing it up. Going to look around. He's got uh, Flaherty on him. Will with number 11 on him. Looks to Jack. Jack's going to turn this guy around. Kick it out to Trotter. Trotter's going to shoot that three. Huh. That was an uh -oh. ill-advised three with a lot of time left on the shot clock. And they're going to go inside. Oh. They're going to get it. It's back to a one-point game, and there's another timeout. And there's one possession. One point. One and, point. and Trotter taking that three. Yeah, but I mean, if, if one, I mean, Kentucky could keep the ball for their whole shot clock possession. They'd be, they could. Uh, yeah, they could have run it all. The, they could have run it all the way down and try and tie yeah. it up. But yeah, so this is it. So it's 20 seconds, 21.4 seconds. One point lead for Triton. The only thing they can, you know, the, the one thing you can't do in this situation is you can't turn the ball over. Period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you get off a shot you don't like, fair enough. Yeah. If you get, you know, blocked, um, but you can't, you just can't turn the ball over. No steals, no bad passes, no uh, no traveling, yeah. no carries. Everything's got to be perfect. 20 seconds left. This is when uh, that extra 10 minutes of practice <laughs> comes into play. That's right. I mean, That's right. That's why you, pra you practice for this game. Yeah. You know, blowouts you don't really practice for. Yeah. You were saying before the game you wanted to see a blowout. Yeah, this, is, this is a lot better than a blowout. Oh, yeah. I'll take this any day. I, I meant to say it's a, a tie game, a close game, not close a blowout. Game. Yeah. All right. All right. That's right. We're getting used yeah. to this. It's We're only, only to our second time yeah. doing this together, yeah. so we're still getting used to it. So, all right, here we go. We got Gabe, Will Parsons, Jack McCarthy, Colin Brennan, and Trotta on the court. And they're going to go into Gabe. Gabe's going to look around. He's going to. That's exactly what you can't do. You cannot turn that ball yeah. over. You cannot turn that ball over. It took them forever to call their timeout. 14 seconds left. Gabe and uh, and and. Colin Brennan just miscommunicating there. Somebody made a mistake. So we're going to put the defensive set back in. The Shoot. last time it was a three-point game. Uh, now, yeah, now we're right down to now, one. Yep, now it's a one-point game. So Gansamiller and Shoot are coming back in. So we can hope for a steal from Shoot. And if they do get a shot off and it doesn't go in, I know Gansamiller will get that rebound. Yep. It's a... Uh, Triton kind of game at home. They bring it all the way down. They had a chance to uh, to ice it and uh, just take an, an ill-advised three, and now we're looking at a, uh, a one-point game. It's tough. 14 seconds left on the clock. You know, they can foul. I mean, they uh, you don't want to foul because they're going to go to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> so you really don't want to foul. Fewer fouls, you could, you could give them a couple of seconds and then foul and put them on the line. But yeah, at this point, you really can't do that. So here we go. Their defensive set is Trotta, McCarthy, Ganza Miller, Shoot, and Gabe. So both Colin Brennan and um, and Will Parsons out. This is when you really do miss uh, when you miss Spillane. Oh, and it bounced off his foot. Oh, no, that's a kick. That's all right. Uh, that's all right. I'm off the clock. Getting fired up here. Getting fired yeah, up finally. Wow. Lively atmosphere. 11, 11's got it, he's gonna have to drive, and he doesn't. Looks to 14, 14 to Cleary. There's a shooter, and he's gonna miss it. Front rim, Gabe with the board, and he either got fouled, or he stepped on the line, or we don't know what happened. Yeah, that's a promising scene for Triton. Five seconds, five seconds left. He should be going to the line to shoot a one-on-one. One. Two, four with the foul. That is tough. 
Well, the thing is, so we got, well, we got time here. Those kids on defense, that's tough when it goes in the corner like that because you don't you don't want to foul them because you're going to send yeah. them to the line. On the other hand, you can't let them just hold the yeah. ball in the corner because, you know, there's no time left in the game. Yeah. So it's a brutal one. So we got another timeout. Here's the one thing I haven't gotten used to in doing three of these games on TV. The timeouts, there's so many timeouts. My God. I know. How many do they five, get? Five, five. Is it five? Five each. Oh, my heavens. That's just a lot of time to talk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More than enough. Uh, it's, this is good, though. This is exactly what we want. We want the ball with five seconds left. We want uh, Coach Clay drawing something up. Yep. He's going to have, looks like McCarthy, Trotta, Collin. He's going to leave that defensive set out there. Dylan, yeah. He's going to leave it. Oh, right, because they're, they're shooting. Yeah, of course he is. Oh, they're yeah, shooting yeah, yeah, a one yeah. of one. So... Very important one and one here. Yeah, this is huge. This is huge for Gabe. Like a big, a big one here. So you got McCarthy and Ganza Miller underneath. Need to score both of them to ensure that only Hit a three point let's... will uh, will not overcome them. Hit them both. Let's go to overtime. That'd be fun. I'd take overtime. I wouldn't yeah. complain at all. Yeah. All right, so Flaherty at half court, because if it misses, you know they're going to out that ball to him as quick as they can. Oh, and he hits it first. That's a huge bucket. Good for Gabe. All right, Gabe, hit this one. Hit this one, and everybody get back on D. Five seconds is a, is a lot of time. Too much can happen in five seconds. And he's going to hit the second. Yep. He's got it both. Gantz Miller to try and stop the inbound pass. There it goes to number 11. 11 behind his back. He's driving against Trotty. He's got no time. 2-1. He throws it up, and it's short. An and extra ball game. Right 55-52. That is your final a huge score. home yeah, win. Fantastic. Exactly what they needed. Wow. An eight-point lead with three minutes left. They squander it all the way down to, to just a one-point game. Yep. They hold on. They make a huge, huge, huge defensive stand after some really, really questionable <laughs> offensive <Yeah>. choices. <laughs> but they get away with a win. That was a good one. That was a yep. good one. That was a hard, good, hard game. It was fantastic. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back uh, and talk to the coach. All right, Coach Clay, excellent win tonight. That was a big one. Um, I don't know if you – I'm sure you know this, but uh, you guys are 4-6 and six at home, 6-0 uh, and oh on the road. So getting a, team, a win like that here at home is a big deal heading into uh, the postseason. So the kids are probably fired up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's a good team we just played against. Lucky to come out with a win. Yeah. Well coached. Yeah, they are really well coached. So you guys were up by eight points with three minutes to go. Suddenly it's only a one-point margin. Uh, what are you saying in a timeout to those kids? Um, just about we need more help defense. We were allowing too many open lanes, and they were penetrating too, uh, too easily and getting by our defenders. So mm -hmm. talked about help, taking charges, and just keep it, containing your man, keeping him in front of you. And he had two charges tonight. I know Dylan Shute took one, and I think Liam took the other one, he right? He did, yeah. Yeah. And we were saying that's that's what you love most. That's oh. your favorite play in, in basketball, right? Yeah, that is by far my favorite. Yeah. It just shows that they're sacrificing for the team and putting their body out there. and just changes momentum sometimes. Yeah, it does. And, and I think the second charge, it was uh, number 14, who was their high scorer tonight, who, who – Char who got the call charged on him, so that was good. That was good for uh, Dylan for doing that. It was. So going into the playoffs, you got two games left, uh, or maybe three, but I know Linfield and North Reading are the big ones. Yes. How are you feeling about that going in? Both great teams. Yeah. I mean, they're they're in the top tier of the Cal every year. They're well coached. Um, the players play hard, so we're going to have to really buckle down on a few things and have some good practices. and if we can string together a few wins. Good. Well, you got them on the road, so that's good for you, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great Excellent. for us. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Coach Clay. Thank great you very much. Thank great you. win. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks.